Your TikTok biography has the ability to make or break your success on the platform. So as a business owner, what is it that you need to know to make the most of your biography and to actually make money off of it? Let's dive in and have a conversation about creating your biography because it is a lot smaller than on the other social media platforms. In fact, all the other social media platforms have a much bigger biography section and you just can't fit that into TikTok, which means you gotta hit it hard when you get in there to make sure that it's relevant to people and you actively tell them who you're a good fit for which then translates into sales and followers for you. So we've been talking all about TikTok and how to build up your brand on TikTok. And when it comes to your biography, you've got to really let people know. Now, before we get into the official biography section, I want to give you a little hack because this is going to save you space in your biography. When you're on TikTok, you actually have the ability to put a name in addition to your at handle. So your at handle is going to be how people can search you but your name is going to be what pops up when you are liking, when you're commenting, when you're interacting with people, and even on your actual profile page. So you have the ability to change this. It doesn't just have to be at and your name, or unfortunately, like some people have at user whatever, even though you have another name. So you wanna make sure that you are leveraging this. So for me, I would put KM Robinson, comma, best-selling YA author or I would put Cam Robinson, comma, social media educator. I would let people know who I am and what I do because when they see me interacting with their content, they are going to have their interest peaked simply because they see a little bit of that extra tag at the end of my name. They know who I am, what I'm about, and they're gonna come over and check me out if it's something that's relevant to them. So I highly recommend that you do that. And then inside of your actual bio, you are going to use the following formula. The first thing you are going to post is a little bit of a description on your job. So who are you? Who do you serve and why are you right for them? Keep this as short as possible. So you're just kind of fleshing out your job title a little bit. You're giving them a little bit more information. Now under that, you're going to hit that space bar and you're going to go down so that your next line is your email address. People have to be able to reach you outside of TikTok. This is incredibly important and yes, it has resulted in emails and even sales for me because I have my email in there. Now, if you have to put a little bit of information in there on why they would be contacting you through there, so like for the PR kit or to book a session or to get you on their show, contact this email. You can, but it's going to eat up your space. So I don't recommend doing that if you can avoid it. Now, I usually use that little mail emoji. You do not have to do that, but it kind of spices it up a little bit and it makes people realize, oh, that's an email address. It's standing out from the rest of the description in your biography and it's going to help just to get attention. So I do it. You don't have to, but you totally can. There are lots of emojis that you can be using in this particular circumstance uh, depending on what you want to do for your business. Now under that, the next thing you're going to be doing is talking about your freebie. This is incredibly important because people love freebies, they love getting things. And you're going to be talking about what it is. So for me, I might be giving away on my author profile four free books and I actually say four free books and then I direct them down to my clickable link. If you have over 1,000 followers, you can have an active clickable link in your TikTok and you're going to maybe use an emoji to point out if you've got the space. If not, that's okay. Just kind of tell them what that freebie is. In my social media strategy life, I might be giving away my hashtag guide or maybe I'm talking about my thumbnail posing guide. Maybe I'm giving away one of my other freebies. Whatever I want to direct people to, I'm going to talk about it very briefly underneath my email. Now with my active clickable link, I want to make sure I'm sending them to my newsletter, not anywhere else, to my newsletter. This is because a newsletter is where I am in complete control of my audience. Remember, I don't control TikTok. They're talking about banning TikTok. There's rumors floating all around. What happens if that actually happens? I lose all those followers. Let's just say Instagram shuts down one day or Facebook completely loses all of my followers or heaven forbid I get banned on a platform because somebody protested something that I did even though I didn't do it and they reported me and it got shut down. Yeah, that actually happened to me once and it wasn't reinstated for a couple of days, but it might not have been reinstated at all. What happens if you lose those social media followers that you don't own and you don't control? That's why we always send things over to our newsletter. If you want help growing your newsletter, hit up the description bar down below because I've got lots of great resources on that one. And you want to make sure that you're leveraging your newsletter inside of TikTok because I will say TikTok has really strong base of go-getters. I have not seen my newsletter subscribers come in like this ever from any platform and I'm getting like dozens of people daily signing up for my newsletter. My sales have skyrocketed. I have fans coming from TikTok to Instagram to Facebook 
to YouTube, to all of my different social media platforms. And these people are coming specifically from TikTok. And yeah, you get that a little bit on some of the other social media platforms, but nothing like what you get on TikTok. So you want to actively drive people over to your newsletter to be a subscriber so that you have full access to them. And the only way they don't see your posts, your emails, that would be if they actively delete your emails without looking at you. Whereas they could easily miss a post on TikTok or on Facebook or on Instagram or even on YouTube. So you want to drive them over to your newsletter, use that active clickable link for your newsletter. Really important. Now if you do not have 1000 followers and you do not have the active clickable link, skip the line about your freebie and put the link in there. Like I said, these people are go-getters. They're gonna hustle themselves off to wherever you are. So these people are actively checking out your website. They're actively looking at your newsletter. They're actively going to your social media. Whether or not you have it linked, whether or not you have it posted, these people are finding you if they like you. These are hardcore fans. When they follow you on TikTok, dang. They like you in real life too. So you want to make sure that you have a link there. Even if they have to type it in, you're going to get people who go over and do it on their own, of their own accord. Now, once you get that active clickable link, please switch and put it in there. But then talk about your freebie and kick that out so that people know what they can be getting from you to grow within your business and to really kind of foster them into a relationship with you, which will eventually lead to sales of your services or products. Makes a lot of sense, right? So when it comes to your biography, you're leveraging your name with your job title to hack the system and get a little bit more of your bio in there. Then your first line in your official bio, your official bio, is going to be a little bit more of a description on who you are and how you can help them. Your next line is going to be your email so they know how to contact you, they know how to reach out to you. Your the next line is going to be about your freebie and then your active clickable link sends them to your newsletter where you're fostering them even more. This is a great way to get people involved with your business and to learn a little bit more about you and to really secure their relationship with you on TikTok. Now in the next video, we're actually going to be talking about how you can batch create your content so that you're not spending hours all the time creating all this content. So I'm breaking down my exact strategy for how I'm creating content once a week, once every two weeks, and then I don't have to do anything else again and I'm really narrowing down my time frame so I'm really only spending a little bit of time creating hundreds of videos because you already know I recommend three to seven videos per day to grow on TikTok which seems like a lot it sounds a little overwhelming but it actually isn't given how short these videos are and batch creation makes everything go a lot faster so if you follow my steps and my strategy for creating your content for TikTok you're not only going to save yourself a lot of time a lot of stress but you're never going to have to stress out over what you're going to be creating because you're going to do it all at once and it's just going to make it so simplified for you and you don't have to worry about doing it on a day to day basis and figuring out what you're doing and just all that drama. So hit the subscribe and notification bell because in the next video I'm breaking down my exact strategy for this. I've been using it for the last month and it's been revolutionary. In fact, I've been writing off the coattails of content I created like mm, a week or two ago and I'm still going with it without having to create new content. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, drop your TikTok questions down below and let me know what you're struggling with so we can make sure we get videos for you so you can grow your business on TikTok just like I am and taking off and going viral with the best unchecked organic reach I've seen on social media since the beginning of Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.